Welcome for our Octopus Tutorial Refillable Cartridges Alternative to Epson 405 Inkjet Cartridges. To switch to this solution, you can order a kit from Octopus that contains all necessary materials. The kit's core component is the set of refillable cartridges. The high quality refillings included in the kit are made in Germany by Octopus Fluids. To set back the ink chips on the cartridges, the kit comes with a chip resetter. Furthermore, there are included refill syringes for filling in the ink into the ink tanks, some cleaning swabs and rubber gloves for protecting you from ink stains. Different from the original cartridges made from black plastic material, the alternative refillables are made of transparent see-through material. This provides the opportunity to the user to see how much ink is physically inside the refillable cartridge. On the slim front of the cartridge there is a resettable ink chip. This chip is responsible for the cartridge displayed ink level status. On the upper side the cartridges have a ventilation port. In original condition this port is sealed with yellow tape. The outlet port for the printer ink is located at the refillable's bottom side. It is covered by plastic foil. Please do not remove this foil. It will be punctured when you install the cartridge in the printer. As well on the bottom side there is the fill port for the refill ink. This port should be closed all the time with its silicon plug except when filling in new ink. Our tutorial's next part deals with the first filling of the ink tanks. Take out the plug from the fill port and store it well. You are going to need it later again for closing the refillable. In each of the refillable cartridges an amount of 20 ml printer ink fits in. We use the refill syringes with mounted needle to take that quantity of printer ink from the ink bottles. One of our ideas is we want you to avoid mistakes that we have already done. Therefore, we strongly recommend to close the ink bottle directly after taking out the right amount of ink. To fill in the printer ink, carefully insert the tip of the needle into the filler opening on the refillable cartridge. Then push the full amount of 20 ml printer ink from the syringe into the empty ink tank. The complete amount of 20 ml printer ink has been filled into the refillable cartridge. Now after that we make sure that everything is closed. That means in particular the fill port for the ink. Check more than once that the plug sits inside the opening flush and correctly. The cartridge must be non-dripping when pointing the fill port downwards. To ensure the best performance of the refillables in your printer we recommend to use the full set in your printer. The colors cyan, yellow and black can be filled the same way as shown with the magenta cartridge. There you can apply the same process and fill in the same amount of printer ink. Another point that supports the lasting performance of the cartridges in your printer is to avoid to update your printer's firmware. All cartridges are fully filled with ink and are ready to be installed into the Epson inkjet printer. During the installation the foil material covering the ink outlets is opened by the spike which is located in the cartridge position inside the printer. Right before setting the cartridge into the printer we remove the tape from the ventilation opening and then we click the cartridge into its position inside the printer. Making sure that each cartridge sits firmly in its position supports that contact between the ink chip and the printer contacts can be established correctly. That contact is necessary for recognition of the cartridges by the printer and for displaying the right ink level status of the refillable cartridges. On the printer display the blue hooks indicate that the contacts have been made correctly. Closing the cover starts the printer to process the cartridge information. When completed the installed cartridges are shown as non-original material, which is actually right. For that alternative material it is necessary to confirm its use in the printer. Please follow the process on the printer's display 
and confirm that you would like to print with these cartridges. At the end, the message appears that exchanging the cartridges is completed and the alternatives are shown with the full ink level status on the printer's display. The installation is completed and now you can start printing with your refillables in your printer right away. Depending on the amount of pages printed, the displayed ink level bar of each color is becoming smaller and smaller, the more pages you print. Here you can see the ink level status low ink for the cyan cartridge. In particular, cyan and magenta have low ink levels. Please fill up cartridges with such an ink level status as soon as possible and set back the ink chip on these cartridges using the chip resetter. We demonstrate the use of the chip resetter on an empty refillable cartridge. Please do not be irritated. The alignment of the resetter and the cartridge is important. Align the resetter's four contact pins with the four contacts on the chip. And the resetter's three pin row meets the three middle contacts of the five contacts row on the chip. It requires some practice to align the chip and the resetter in the right way. Press the chip's contacts carefully on the resetter's pins to start the reprogramming sequence. The chip has been set back when the LED on the resetter shines green. It also happens to us that we need more than one try to get the alignment right. Filling up a refillable cartridge that has a low ink level status is different from its first fill. The used cartridge can drip from the ink outlet. We prepare a swab to seal the ink outlet, have tape available to seal the airport, the resetter is also there ready to set back the ink chip and we have taken 20 ml pigmented refill ink into a syringe, sitting ready to be filled into the cartridge. And we also lay out some protection on our working area. We start the filling up process and we make ready a piece of clear tape, roughly 5 cm long and lightly position that piece of tape on the chip resetter. Then we take the swab and place the ink outlet of the removed cartridge on it to avoid dripping ink from that outlet. Take the piece of tape from the resetter and seal the ventilation port on the cartridge. Then we switch the cartridge to our other hand and go on to set back the ink chip on the sealed cartridge. The reset is done when the LED switches from red to green. Thanks to the sealed ventilation opening, we can position the cartridge on its back with the ink port pointing upwards. We remove the silicon plug from the fill port and use the previously prepared syringe to top up the amount of ink inside the ink tank. If there's some ink remaining inside the syringe, you can give that back into the ink bottle directly. Very important now, again, is to make sure that the fill port is closed securely after filling in the ink. Use the previously removed silicon plug. Install the cartridge into the printer after taking off the tape from the ventilation port. Lift the cartridge from the cotton swab and place the cartridge into its position inside the printer immediately. On the printer display you can see the switch from the displayed ink level status low ink to a blue hook. This means that a cartridge has been installed. Okay, now the cartridge cover on the printer is closed and as it is done, the printer starts to process the information from the cartridges. The following steps are similar to installing the refillables for the first time. The printer points out that non-original material is installed and we have to confirm that we want to use this material. Here you can see that magenta and cyan are displayed with full ink level status bars. Both cartridges are recognized by the printer and they are ready for being used for printing. So that's it basically so far for our tutorial about the alternative refillables with resettable chip and suitable chip resetter for Epson 405 inkjet cartridges. We hope you can make use of some of the information from our tutorial. For questions, please do not hesitate to write an email or you can also use the comment section below this video tutorial.